Alright guys, I am back with my review of MTV's The Challenge Rivals 2, Episode 2, New Girl. And this one starts off with CT, Anastasia, and some of the other cast members dressing up as ninjas. And the rest of the cast are sleeping in this one room near the air conditioner, so they run and dress as ninjas and throw water balloons at them. But what was weird about this is the room they were all sleeping in, all the lights were on. <laughs> Who sleeps like that? So then we see Frank get into it with CT. Frank fears nothing. The guy's awesome. At the challenge, Cook gets her new partner, Cara Maria. She's back. I like Cara Maria. I'm glad she's back. I was wondering why she was on the Wikipedia page for the show. And is it just me, or does it look like TJ is standing in front of a green screen when he's talking about these challenges? I noticed it in the first episode, too, but they did it again here when he's telling them how you play the game. It looks like he's in front of a green screen. So, the challenge is you have to thrust back and forth across this saw to cut a piece of wood. Then you got to get your partner up in a tombstone pile driver position, go through an obstacle course, grab a ball, and then drop it in this bucket pipe thing. So Wes sits out. He basically says screw it because it's a girls challenge. The girls are up for elimination here and there's really no repercussions so he just sits this one out. And eventually Preston sits out and CT doesn't really care that Wes sat out and Knight's a little pissed off at Preston but CT and Knight decide to just mess around and do the challenge with each other but eventually TJ kicks him out. Zack and Trey win the thousand dollars. So it's the girls turn and a lot of the girls can't get their partner up in the tombstone position. But eventually Emily and Paula win the challenge. Again, so they're safe. Jessica and Anastasia get last place so they're going to the jungle and then TJ says Wes and CT, Preston and Knight are going to have a penalty next challenge. Um, so they are going to be punished for not playing. And I'm glad they did this because as soon as Wes sat this one out and said it was because really nothing could happen to him, I was kind of thinking that the producers were like, oh shit, we didn't really think this one through. This is going to keep happening. Um, so I'm glad they came up with the whole penalty thing. Because that's for a guy's elimination. So the guys decide to send in Cook and Cara Maria into the jungle. Anastasia finds out about CT and Diem, and she gets pissed off at CT. It was lame. Jessica tries to calm her down. Jessica actually seems like a really nice person, like too nice for a game like this. And in the jungle, you're suspended in the air. you got to reach down and cut this rope that's going to drop the other team into the water. And Anastasia starts freaking out. She's shaking. She thinks she's going to faint. And she's freaking out for so long that Cook pees on herself. Um, but during the challenge, Cook and Cara Maria win, so Jessica and Anastasia are sent home, and uh, that's it. That's pretty much the whole episode there. I like this episode. I don't really care about the whole Anastasia CT crap, but one thing about this episode is they made CT look like the biggest jackass ever. I mean, like a, just a total asshole um, with the way he was acting and treating Diem and Anastasia. But I, I still enjoyed the episode, and next week's episode, it looks like there's going to be some more fights. There was fights in this episode with Frank and CT, fights in the first episode. It's already a crazy season so far, so um, this one was pretty good here. But anyways, that's my review. Hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on this episode in the comments, and thanks for watching.